What does the future of finance look like? Can you imagine a world where digital currencies play a central role? Today, we're diving into the fascinating debate between two prominent forms of digital currencies, cryptocurrencies and central bank digital currencies, also known as CBDCs. Cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin and Ethereum, are decentralized forms of digital money. They operate independently of traditional financial systems, offering a high degree of privacy and a promise of democratizing finance. However, their volatility and lack of regulation can make them a risky investment and a controversial medium of exchange. On the other hand, we have central bank digital currencies. Quite the opposite of cryptocurrencies, CBDCs are digital versions of fiat currency issued and regulated by central banks. They aim to digitize the traditional monetary system, providing the convenience of digital transactions with the stability of a government-backed currency. The key difference lies in their nature and governance. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized and lack a central authority, while CBDCs are centralized, falling under the purview of central banks. This fundamental difference has significant implications for their potential roles in the future of finance. Many industry leaders have discussed the role of digital currencies in the future of finance. The consensus is that both private cryptocurrencies and public digital assets like CBDCs have a role to play. However, the vision of a decentralized global currency may face resistance from governing authorities, given the potential risks and uncertainties. Interestingly, CBDCs have already become a reality in several countries, including China, India, Cambodia, and Singapore, serving different use cases. They provide privacy, convenience, accessibility, and financial security to businesses and consumers. Moreover, they could significantly reduce costs and risks associated with current digital currencies. To recap, CBDCs are digital currencies issued by a country's central bank with a fixed value tied to the country's fiat currency. They are not cryptocurrencies and can be based on blockchain technology but don't have to be. There are two types of CBDCs, wholesale for financial institutions and retail for consumers and businesses. The potential impact of CBDCs on global business transactions is immense. They could improve financial inclusion and stability, lower cross-border transaction costs, and provide a secure means of exchanging digital currency. In conclusion, the future of finance is likely to be a hybrid world with both cryptocurrencies and CBDCs playing integral roles. The debate between cryptocurrency and CBDCs is not about one replacing the other, but about how they can coexist and shape the future of finance in their unique ways. As we move forward, the challenge lies in finding the right balance between innovation, security, and regulation.